uh, this guy cannot defend. So it's not about coming at your players. The guy looks absolutely useless. But saying that, in the back of my mind, I'm like, this guy was balling out at Brighton. So we need to get him balling out like he did against Brighton. So Pochettino's not playing him. So, you know, Pochettino's seeing what we're seeing, which is a good thing. Because, you know, sometimes managers just keep playing players and they're bloody awful. So it's a good thing in a way. And maybe he can turn Kukurea, <coughs> maybe he can turn Kukurea around. But the report is we're willing to listen to offers about uh, Kukurea. So we need to wait and see what happens, guys. Uh, I would love him just to go. Uh, but then if, if he does go and Matson doesn't sign a contract, Matson goes as well, then we're struggling for uh, somebody to fill in. So, but I don't want to just keep players because, you know, we, you know, if he's not any good, he's not really a backup, you know what I mean? But maybe we could play him as a DM, maybe we could play him slightly further, maybe in midfield or something like that. But he's not got the attributes going forward either, so it's a bit of a strange one. But he's, a, he's meant to be a baller, you know what I mean? So, can we fit him in somewhere? Right, eh. Uh, I told geezers, don't judge till we play the dippers. <laughs> Mitchie boy with his 20 different teams all wearing a blue home kit. <laughs> yeah, well, I do like the, the See the blue kit? It sits well my because of the Rangers. See this latest strip? That's like a Rangers blue. That's not like a, a sort of darker Chelsea blue that I'm used to. It, it's a lighter blue, guys. Would you agree? It's more of a Rangers blue. Uh, but then Rangers have had different colours in the past and then they went to the lighter blue. But aye, the lighter blue I like better. Uh, the sort of, my son had the darker blue strip and all that and I, I don't think it's as nice. But I, I like the blue kit, it's really smart. Metal Face Doom, talking about that Strasbourg fella. Big shout out to Mental Health. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit shouty, he's a bit shouty. Aye, 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 aye. He's a nice guy, like man, but uh, I, he does a bit of shouting. Eh? I'm sure some people turn their micro uh, their microphone right up and then just shout over people. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Maybe they're deaf. No, Alex, it's on uh, Lewis's stream. I think he's like a bit deaf, so he doesn't know he's shouting. But you know, it's like me. I was going on Lewis's channel and uh, my mic had turned it right down because uh, it was sort of cutting out all the time. But uh, nobody could hear me and stuff, and they were just talking over me. So I've had to turn it back up again. <laughs> and it worked well the other night, eh? Because uh, every time I was talking, Roger and Bobby and everybody else would try to talk over me. So if it's louder, you can just keep talking, and they just get up after all. Would you, think, guys? <laughs> ah, it's mental. Uh, metal Face Doom is damn near a whole new squad in Gaffer. We, we aren't going to tear up the league overnight. No. I, what I think, guys, right, and I'll say this to you guys honestly, uh, I I want top four, top five this year, but it's going to be a hard battle. I think we're going to have to battle for every point, and I think these players will all improve. I think Pochettino will just, player by player, he'll just turn each player round a little bit. Uh, what I'm seeing, he looks like a fantastic man-manager, and Mujic could be part of that. He's definitely putting an arm around Mujic. He's he's bringing him into the team slowly. I'm frustrated because I want the boy in the park and I wanted to, I want him to get minutes and stuff like that. But I think Pochettino's using the, his experience and he's maybe just bedding him in just a bit at a time, because he is quite raw. And I said that I said that on my stream last night. Uh, you got to think of this boy as he had one season in the top flight in uh, Ukraine with Shakhtar. He played in the Champions League and he played very well, but that was like his first season where he's actually in a first team. So although he's like 23-year-old or whatever, just think of him as like an 18-year-old, 19-year-old, because that's where he is in his, his stages of development. He's right at the start of his career. He just wasted quite a few years. He's had to screw the nut a wee bit and he's finally got the message. He's got the message, but just think of him as like a youth, a 19-year-old. So he is going to have to get brought in. See, like Amari Hutchison was getting a couple of minutes and things like that. That's maybe what he's doing with Mujic. And it might be a good thing in the end. And we might, by Christmas, we've got an absolute baller. 
because I'm quite hopeful of players. When I see a lot of talent in a player, I want to see them on the park and I want them to be given a chance. Now, we are going to have to play a lot of these ballers, so it's a good thing in a way that Pochettino is going to be forced to play a lot of these boys because he hasn't got anybody else. He hasn't got the experienced players to block his path. He's got maybe uh, Silva blocking uh, defence centres. He's got, uh, who else has he got? Oh, you had you had Rhys James blocking Gusto, but he's got injured, so he's not blocking him anymore. Midfield, you've not got any Jorginho's, Kovacic's, players like that blocking spaces. Uh, so you, you, these young players get straight in the team. And then you've maybe got Sterling blocking people, but Sterling's not a problem anymore in my eyes. Hopefully he keeps up that form. And that'll keep Metal Face Doom happy, because eh? I think he likes him. Uh, Mickey Dry Boy, Patrick Landa everywhere he goes. Ah, he does, pal. I, I see all you guys in the other chats, by the way. You know, it's like you're in other chats, you're, you're in a, there's bullets flying all over the place, and you guys are in there putting a bit of positivity in there, you know, you know, pu pushing back against all the nonsense. And I do it as well, guys, because you probably see me in there. I push back against the nonsense. I don't always, because, uh, you know, it's like sometimes I'm just watching and stuff like that. Uh, I'm in the car driving and stuff like that. So some sometimes I just keep a low profile and I just now and again I'll say what's up to different people. I just just let them know that I can see them. Roger, pop, you're muted. You're muted, pal. Hey, donkey. Hey, donkey. <laughs> Thank God you're in, pal. I'm waffling for Scotland here. <laughs> you, you know what was funny when I when I I heard the chap say. Scotland's part of London. I couldn't stop laughing. That was hysterical. I, I, I was talking nonsense. I, I've got the I've got their heads all fucking melted with all my waffle. <laughs> <laughs> More it's waffle meant... than the Belgium. <laughs> 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 How are you, sir? I, I the only thing is was a coach on the day because I I was like I, I had a lot of training so. today. Yeah? I don't believe so. Oh, so I've no missed the show. That's good. Well, I had the course a day and then it had uh, like a doesn't matter. But then I did an exam at the end. So I've been busy all day. I managed to just check Twitter for 10 minutes on a break or something like that. Uh, but I've no idea what's went on. Uh, looks as if the main thing that's went on news-wise is this Brennan Johnson guy. That's all waffle. Uh, what, from Forest? Yeah, and, oh, the, and the Balligan so. thing. The Balligan thing's just waffle. So the two stories that people were floating, they seem like they're both waffle. That's, that's great to hear because... I don't rate those players at all. No, I, I don't want to pay fifty million for a guy that's not good enough to even get in the Arsenal squad. Exactly. We we, we could get a very good player for that money. Don't overpay for Premier League players that aren't even Premier League players. I, I think if I think if you look at our roster, and you look at the prices that we paid for players, but you actually look at their market value, we've been. We've been overpaying for so many of our players. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I think a lot of those decisions were warranted. But still, we, we there seems to be a Chelsea premium added, like a Chelsea tax. No doubt about it. And this chap, I'm sorry, he is 50 cents maybe, not 50 million. I mean, that's obscene. But... Uh... I'm a bit different for you, though. I don't even watch Match of the Day. So even if he did play for Arsenal, I still wouldn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> so first thing to talk about, Roger, is you need to stop me waffling, eh? So that, that's that's your main job for tonight. Uh, I've picked a team of the week. Can you want to go through it? You want me to talk through what I picked and then you can say if there's any changes? Sure, go for it. Sanchez, Gusto, Chile, Silva, Dezazi, playing a back four. Yeah, I agree Cassie, with that. Oh, oh, you got Dezazi? Yeah. Instead yeah, that's of what I'm Colwell. saying. You, you can change it. Uh, you can change it. Wait, just hold your horses. Uh, oh, Casado, Enzo, Gallagher, midfield. Mm -hmm. uh, Sterling, Mujic, Jackson. And the only reason I put Mujic in, there's a doubt about him not being in training, is I can't see who else we're going to put in. Maybe Moreira out the under-23s. So what do you think, Roger? Well, Madueke could play. He came on in the last game. I forgot about him. I forgot about him, Roger. That's why I've got you. Oh, that's scary. Um, so, so <laughs> what's the problem with um, Mudovic? What, I, I haven't Apparently, heard anything. I heard Lavia and Mudovic were in training. 
That's mm. what's been on Twitter all day. But it's only Twitter. There'll yeah, be a presser. Not... When's the presser? Tomorrow? What's the date? Yes, tomorrow. It's, fr- it's a Friday game, so if the yes, presser wasn't it today, it has to be tomorrow, I think. Yes. So, so um, and, and Chelsea Football Club haven't stated anything officially, no? No, no. Okay. It's it's Twitter, Twitter Ati. It's the Twitter Ati. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it could it could be something. It could be absolutely nothing. It could be sore, just wanted to rest him for a day, or they could have personal reasons. You know, it, it could be a myriad of things. Um, you know, until I hear something from a credible source, I pay zero attention to it. I uh, I was asking the guys in the chat how from the minerals side how they thought about the hysteria round you know, the loss and some players and stuff like that. And it's mainly just that it's, they just want to, well, Johnny just wants to blame the owners type thing. Whereas I think the owners have got a bit of blood in their hands about a lot of things, but I still yeah. think they're doing a lot of good things. And also uh, I would say Pochettino's doing a lot of good things, but he's he's got a bit of blood in his hands as well, uh, sticking to the back three, although he says it isn't, and playing ZH, I know ZH, uh, Chilwell up front, and when he yeah. should be putting a winger up there. What do you think, Roger? No, I agree. A 100% agree. I, I, I put it to you, I think if you ask these Man United fans, these Liverpool fans, these even Newcastle, and Arsenal and Spurs especially, you ask all these fans, would they prefer their current owners or would they wish Clear Lake Capital was their owner? And I, if, if they're honest and, and they're introspective and they're honest with themselves, they will definitely say that they would prefer Clear Lake Capital. I'm telling Be- you, we, 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 we hit news, the jackpot. Roger. Breaking news. Hit me. Chelsea are confident that the new sponsorship's going to go through. Uh, Paisley's tweeted it, and it's from Matt Law from the Tele Football. And do, do we know who the sponsor is? Yeah, it's that Infinite Athlete. Oh, okay, okay. So, so that's a good deal. It's it's at least forty like going up million. to fifty million. I yeah, forty yeah. fifty million. Yeah. So that's good. Sorry, pal. No, no, don't be. It's um, just it's quite it's quite important, eh? Because it's yeah, been a sl- it's been a slow news day, and that's quite important. Well, yeah, we we need revenue. We need to generate revenue, whether that's from advertising, increasing shirt sales, etc. This is a very important aspect of the business model. You know, it's you, you know we could be spending a billion each window transfer window if we generate enough revenue. It. That's what it all boils down to. So, yeah, um, even though I love our shirt without a sponsor on, it's a bloody sexy shirt, isn't it? It's a good... Did you, did you see the new shirt with Infinite, Infinite Athlete on it? It was a pink one. Are we releasing a pink one? I haven't seen it. Oh, it's on Twitter. Yeah. That'd be nice for the ladies to wear, though, eh? The pink sure. one. Yeah, I may get my daughter that. I don't know. Oh, it'd be cracking for the girls, like. Yeah. You could but, but... call it... You could call it salmon like the Scotland team and the men could wear it as well, would you think? <laughs> True. <laughs> did, did you remember last year, our third kit, which was like a, a golden beige? Do you remember that? Yeah, I think yeah. that, I love that kit. I think it's one of our best kits we've ever had for years, for years. I, I, um, we're not using it this year, are we? If I'm not no, mistaken. No, as far as I know. Why? I mean, I, I, I mean I this should it, be I, a... I got the fleece for my son, that yeah, colour. Yeah. It was quite smart. It, it's a bloody good looking kit. It really is. I think we should have kept it as our third string kit. It's a classic looking style and colour. It, it's a marketing thing. I think the yeah, team I know. would like to change all the strips twice a year and make even more money. Yeah, exactly. It's a, <laughs> but you know what though? I, I, I think a lot of people will still buy this every year, that, that third kit, because it's 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 I think it's one of the best kits we've ever had. You'd probably be able to get it for the sports direct or something like that. How they sell last sure. year's styles and all that. Yeah, You'd be yeah. able to get it cheap. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to actually get one. It's really nice. I, but um, I, I've get, got to get my wife to, to size me up, but I want to get the white training kit. I fancy Yeah, that. you like it, don't you? Yeah. Lewis wears it. Lewis has worn it a couple of times. It's smart. It is smart. Yeah. 
So, so getting back to the squad, Mitchy. Yeah, sorry. I'm not bro. sure about Conseco, Conseco, um pl- actually starting. I'm not sure if he's ready. I don't know. Because we're not privy to their training sessions, only the coaching staff and Potch will know this. But I would not be surprised if he doesn't start. I wouldn't be surprised if, for instance, you, you, you have a Gallagher there. Instead, I think you know. because we've not got attacking mid, Gallagher might be playing as part of a three. He'll yeah. play slightly more forward. It's definitely possible. Or he could put Madsen there. I, I'm just guessing. I have no I, idea. I, I, I asked that question last night on the show. I think Madsen and Santos are getting frozen out. They're not getting any minutes. Yeah, see, this concerns me. So, so my only complaint, and it's an observation, really, more than a complaint, I would say, that if we were going to use these formations in the first two games, why did we not try to? Why we? Why did we a use players in pre-season that we weren't going to use in regular games? Now I understand that there's reasons for that, like to 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 get them to to analyze them, to see what they're made of, um, and also you know to avoid injuries. A lot of teams do this, but also it's the formation. If we were going to go to a hybrid back three, let's just call it what it is, right? Then why don't we do that pre-season? What, to, to, to hide it from our opponents? They, it, it, the genie's out of the bottle once you use it once. So why not try to perfect it in pre-season? This, this is what doesn't quite make sense to me. Unless they decided at last minute this is the best way to go forward, which is possible. We've had eight injuries. Is it eight injuries? That's probably what's causing a lot of what's happening, buddy. Because that yeah, Nkunku, no. we were meant to have Nkunku, he's gone. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, you know, listen, uh, this is the thing. And, and, and you, you, know, you know I'm not, I'm not a Potter fan, all joking aside, but I think what really did hamper him as well was the amount of depletion that this squad took. And, and, and if this continues... Obviously, it won't continue to this extent. It's impossible. Otherwise, we, we'd need another 30 players. But um, you, you can't build consistency and continuity if you've constantly got players dropping out each week. You just can't. You, you, can't, you, you can't honestly judge Poch and, their coach and his coaching staff based on the fact that you've got basically a revolving door for a lot of positions because of these injuries, like Reese. Like in Kunku, those two are huge for us, and just those alone, it's you know, it's it, so all this criticism from people saying the, these this coach has got to go or whatever. It's like you know what, you have to cut, cut him some slack. You, you honestly, you have to give him at least a year, in my opinion. Yeah. So Goddy Frog says, uh, but Mitch, if you use that bed and an excuse, why isn't he doing that with Carney Chukameka? I was talking about Mujic getting bedded in. The reason Carney Chukameka didn't get bedded in is because Nkunku got injured. So he was the only option, or probably the best option. Whereas at yeah. left back, he's sticking in Chilwell. To Pochettino, that's a better option than playing young Mujic. Yeah, what so does that what tell I, you? What I was saying to the guys before you came was, you've got to think it's Mudrick. He's had one season at the highest level. He's he's basically, that was his first season in the first team. I agree. In uh, Shakhtar last season. Before that, he wasn't getting played and he bummed about, because I watched the documentary. He basically was, he was round about another three teams and he wasn't getting a game because his attitude wasn't right. So what's happened is he smelt the coffee, he's got his act together, he's working hard, his attitude's fantastic. And he yeah, I heard, he's a, I, I heard his attitude's amazing. Yeah, and he's got, he had that great season at Shakhtar where he played brilliant in the Champions League. If anybody goes back and watches how he played in the Champions League, that's how sensational this guy can be. But then he's came to Chelsea. The Premier League is a different level. Yeah. And you've seen the size of him compared to some of the boys he was up against yesterday. He's up against absolute monsters, Roger. What do you think? We have got to bed him in slowly. Eh? I want him in right away, but I think Pochettino's going to slow that bedding in. I, I totally agree. I, I think it's incumbent upon Poch and the coaching staff to be more cautious 